On Lifehacker, we've talked a lot about the great DVD ripping tool Handbrake, but we haven't really walked through the steps of how to use it. It's pretty easy, and if you already know how, that's great, but for those of you who don't, this is how you can rip a DVD easily with Handbrake. Now, when you start up Handbrake, you'll likely see a screen similar to this one, and you'll find a DVD in your volumes. Now, what you really want to look for when you have a DVD is the Video TS folder, which is going to be on every DVD pretty much, but the reason that this is important is because you don't actually have to rip from a DVD. You could have a folder with the Video TS folder in it, or you could have an image with the Video TS folder in it. The important thing is that Video underscore TS folder exists. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and then Handbrake is going to scan the source for files that it's able to rip um, to another format. Now, once it's done, because this is a DVD with television episodes on it, we're going to see a lot of options in this area under Title. And that will be the case with movies too, because movies often have extra features and other things. And so when you're ripping a title, the only thing Handbrake's going to give you is how long that title is and the track number. Now, that's not necessarily enough information to figure out which title you want to rip, but if it's something like a movie, you know how long it's going to be. You know the running time of a movie is about 45, an hour and 45 minutes, and the running time of an hour-long television episode is going to be between 45 and 50, or an hour if it's on a premium cable network. As you can see here, I've got a few options, and I've got one that's one hour and six minutes, and it's a little bit longer because it's the pilot. And then I have another track that's 45 minutes, a couple of tracks that are under a minute, so we know those aren't episodes, and then another track that's 42 minutes. So we've got the first three episodes on this disc. I'm going to select this one. It's already selected. And I can choose from Handbrake's presets. Now there are a couple things you can do here. You can see there's some legacy presets and also some Apple-centric presets. So if you want to, if you want to rip your uh, DVD episode or movie to a specific Apple format, you can do that by selecting one of these. You can also choose normal or high profile. This will increase the quality. You'll notice that you have a constant quality slider and you can adjust that to get higher or lower quality. Alternatively, you can enter an average bit rate. For a standard definition file, I generally like to go at least 2000 uh, kilobits per second. And then you also note you have an option to do that with audio as well. If you're ripping to an Apple device, you have to be sure that you're using no more than 160 kilobits per second for your audio, otherwise it will not work. If you're ripping for just anything else, feel free to dial that all the way up. You also have some other options like subtitles, advanced, um, and chapters, in which you can set those settings however you like. Um, we're not going to get into this too much because it will take a really long time to go through all of these little settings and I don't even know what half this stuff is, to be honest. So that's really all you need to do is choose your language, choose the codec to which you're, um, you're, you're going to rip the audio and the bitrate and all of that, and then do the same for the video. It defaults to H.264, but you can also do MPEG-4 as well. And then you can also choose two-pass encoding if you want to have higher quality, although if you're doing constant quality, that's not necessary for reasons we won't get into. That's pretty much all you have to do, and then when you're ready, you click Add to Queue, and that will add to your queue. You can see the queue by clicking the Show Queue button, and then click Start. If you're only ripping one track, however, you can just click Start, and that's pretty much all there is to ripping a DVD with Handbrake. One more thing we're going to look at is picture settings. If you are ripping a DVD that's kind of old, it probably is interlaced for older televisions. So you want to make sure you have deinterlace turned on. Fast is usually good enough to do the job, but if you want it to be really good deinterlacing, you want to choose a slower speed. This is important to set, otherwise you'll have a, a, like a hair comb teeth effect on your video. So do make sure that you turn on deinterlace if your video, if your DVD needs to be deinterlaced, and you'll know right away by looking at the DVD on your computer if that deinterlacing is necessary. So that's all there is to it. Happy ripping.